I want to introduce you to two different elements of the art. So the first one I want to show you is emphasis, and the second one is contrast, and they relate to each other. They are both principles of art and design, and they both use the elements of art. So emphasis is the main idea. It grabs your attention. It's what you see right away. And part of that is called the focal point, and that's the portion of an artwork's composition on which interest or attention centers. And it's basically, where does your eye look right away when you look at an artwork. So a couple ways to create emphasis or focal point is size, and that's where you change the, shape, the size of one object. You can make one big and small compared to the rest. Location, and that's making one object away from the rest to make it stand out. Stand out. Color or value is where you change the color of the, of the value in a small area to make a focal point, or shape, adjust the shape to make items have emphasis. What I want you to do down here is I want you to draw your own image that has a focal point that uses size, location, color, and shape. So a couple examples just to show you. Here's one that shows size. Your eye really goes to this triangle. This one uses color. My eye goes right to that orange. This one's location. My eye goes over here right away because it's not near the rest. It stands out. And this one uses shape. And then for contrast, contrast is made is the difference between the elements of the art. So the elements of the art are color, line, shape, value, texture. So while we favor similarities and we like things to be similar, it can make an artwork boring. Contrast can be made by showing different colors, shapes, subject matter, sizes, texture, all the different elements of art. So just to show you, here is contrast in color or value, contrast with shapes, contrast in scale, so that is size, contrast in layout, contrast with texture, or you can even do the ones that go with emphasis, the size, location, the color, and the shape. And just to show you again, here's an example of some more color, some texture, some pattern, size, shape, and this one's hard to see, but it's a line. I hope you have fun including contrast and emphasis in your artwork so that you make some really exciting different pieces of art.